Hi, welcome back to P1. Today we're looking at sketching reciprocal graphs. Okay, a reciprocal graph is a graph that is of this kind of form, like 1 over x, 3 over x, minus 2 over x, minus 3 over x squared, all that kind of thing. Essentially, we're going to be looking at y equals k over x, where k is a real constant, and y equals k over x squared. Okay? So, if k is a positive number, and I'm going to do this first, y equals k over x, k is positive, going to be here and now I like to draw in from the both ends of the axes first and then just get my curve and then the second part of the graph looks like this so it's like a exact same thing in this quadrant down here now it's a couple of things to take note of Okay, the first things first is the axes in this case are acting as the asymptotes. These are lines in which the graph approaches but never actually reaches. Okay, so it gets closer and closer and closer to these lines. A second thing to note is I went from each kind of end of the axes first and then started to draw my line. Now there's a reason for that. Okay, I need to make sure that this is heading towards the axes. This is heading towards the axes. Now, in the mark scheme, it often states that if you start to draw a line that essentially just didn't quite look like it was heading towards, so you know, something something like this, then you would you would lose some marks. Okay? That line, it cannot, it has to head towards your axes. Okay? That's what you have to be careful of. Making sure that it always acts towards the axes. So this is y equals k over x, where k is a positive number. Now, when k is negative, it's very much a similar graph, it's just in these two quadrants, so the two, sorry, I'm just concentrating on uh, drawing, and these don't have to be perfect, it's all about getting roughly that shape right, and remember it's a sketch, so, you know, the axes don't matter, there's no numbers on the axes, never put numbers on the axes of these sketches if you can help it, unless you need to, um, and it makes your life a lot easier. Essentially, they pretty much all look the same. So here we've got y equals k over x, but this is when k is a negative number, so k is less than zero. Now, when I'm dealing with a y equals k over x squared again and you'll notice that all these graphs are basically drawn the same now with the x squared k is positive this is the graph that i get so both values all my values are going to be positive so they're going to end up above the x-axis so this is y equals k over x squared where k is positive number and as you might have already guessed if i talk about what happens to k over x squared when k is a negative number i'm going to get the same kind of graph as the last one just underneath the x squared So y equals k over x squared, where k is negative. Okay, let's have a look at when we've got to draw two graphs on the same axis. 
this is when I have to be a little bit more careful. So I'm going to do my y equals 3 over x first. So for this I'm just going to draw my standard looking 1 over x style graph. It's not perfect to be honest, but it doesn't need to be perfect. It's just about getting that shape there. So that's y equals 3 over x. Now I'll do the next one in black. Y equals 5 over x. Because of that number of multiple of 5, it's going to be a larger value. So it's not going to be as close to the axes initially. It's still going to head that way. But I just need to draw it a bit further away from my axes. Okay. And something like that. And as I said, you don't have to be perfect with these. It's about getting that shape. You know, really these should probably have a little bit more of a bend closer down here. It's not super important because you don't know what values you've got on the axes. You know, no examiner would know. So, you know, as long as you've got that shape and comparatively they're in the right place. Let's look at one more. So I'm going to draw y equals minus 3 over x squared. So this one is on the bottom here. Again, you know, making sure that I am heading towards the axis. I try and get this one symmetrical as best I can. But, you know, it's just a sketch. So y equals minus 3 over x squared. Now, when I'm drawing the second one, it's a positive k, so it's 5 over x squared. So it's going to be at the top. But what I want to do is I want to make it obvious that it's a bit further out. So it's still going to head towards the axes. But I want to make it a bit more obvious that it is a larger value and it is going to be a little bit further out from the axes compared to my minus 3 over x squared. Okay, and then something like that. Again, like I've said, it doesn't have to be perfect. What I want to demonstrate is that this one is further from these axes than my minus 3 over x squared. And then I'm done. If you find doing these videos useful, Please hit a subscribe and hit the bell icon to let you know when a new video is going to drop. Right, let's get on to some questions. Pause the video and have a go with these six and then I'll flash the answers up at the end.